Hi everyone, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I just wanted to say I had a lot of great comments on our last video putting up the gingerbread trees and the, the uh, village vignettes up there on top of the closet. A lot of you sent me some really funny comments that made both uh, Marianne and, and me laugh. Um, a lot of them were very amusing and I appreciate you uh, watching that and, and uh, holding your breath as I was climbing that ladder and Marianne was holding my legs. Uh, so today I'm going to continue in that same area um, up underneath the Palladium window with a garland that I'm going to be doing a lot of accents with gold. So uh, as you can tell, the foyer is going to have a lot of gold in it this year. Um, I've used it before and like Marianne said in the last video, we recycle everything. We use mostly everything over. We have too much stuff that I'm not going to use it. I mean, sometimes I don't put some things out because we have too much stuff, but, uh, you know, we recycle it in different rooms. So I've never done the foyer in gold ever before. Uh, so this will be the first time that I'm, I'm doing that. So, um, this is just a short little video showing you how I, uh, uh, put together that garland up on top of the palladium window. Like always, give me a thumbs up. If you like it, it helps push my video into more viewership and also subscribe if you like a lot of Christmas things. I promise I'm going to be giving you a lot of Christmas things and I'm going for that 10,000 subscribers by Thanksgiving and I would really appreciate it if you would just click that button and put the bell on so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay everybody, so I hope you enjoyed this short little video of how I decorated the garland with gold accents. Hold on. So, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, gold in the foyer this year. Um, even though I am bringing the traditional tree back in again, I had moved it last year, and, and a few people had said to me that they were disappointed that I moved the traditional tree. And to be honest with you, I was, I was kind of disappointed myself. I like the change, but I like the, the big tree here in the foyer to have all our traditional ornaments on it. But um, I'm highlighting everything in gold. I've never done gold in the foyer before, so um, I'm going to be using a lot of gold. So see, these are some of the picks that I'll be using, not just, um, not just uh, where I'm working today, but you know, throughout the entire foyer, I have a few more gold things that I'm going to be using. So like I said, I'm going to get started on the garland that is underneath the uh, palladium window right now. So once again, it's a lot of up and down the ladder because it's all the way up there. So um, I have to think and, you know, so that I can reduce the amount of times I come up and down, uh, you know, put stuff in a bag and I bring it up with me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beef up the garland a little bit. I'm going to use some picks once again from my Michael's grab bag haul. For those of you that know, it's going a million miles. All right, so you see I added in a pick right there to just beef that up a little bit and then one on each side of the, um, the uh, wreath over here and then another pick down at that end just to make this a little bit more interesting and give it some texture. Next, I'm going to use some beads on the bottom and I know they're not in style anymore and a lot of people don't use them, but I like them and um, I've been using them a lot more lately. In fact, I've increased the amount. I have the gold, I have red, I have crystal, and I bought white this year as well. So uh, I think these add just a little bit of glistening to uh, anything. Okay, so I did a loop, and then I backed on with a double loop, and I did that on both sides. Next, I added a snowflake in each one of those loops. Next, I'm going to use uh, these picks, a few of them, on each side of that wreath just to build out from the center because I usually like to build out from the center of the uh, garland. All right, I'm sorry. This is very difficult. I'm up on the ladder and the light is streaming in from the window, so please excuse all that. But here is the center. So I did a, a, a poinsettia here, gold, and I have two picks here, gold, with some uh, pears and, and, and a, an ornament on it. Then I use these, it kind of looks like a fern. There's three of them, one on this side, one on this side, and then one up on the top and the back to give it a, you know, a rounded look like that. 
and then I added these uh, these uh, drippy kind of uh, picks, you know, in in this cedar pick over here. Now working out to the sides, I put these two fern leaves in, one down and one heading up, and then I added in these leaves with this spray right here because it has some uh, sequins on it and to pick up some light. And then what I did on the corner is, that, again, I repeated a fern up, a fern down, and then this spiky looking one up and one down, and then the poinsettia. So there's three poinsettias, and then this at each end. All right, so next I always like to do that corner right there and have that be the focal point of these two adjoining walls uh, here. I'm going to start with beads. Next, to echo the same thought, I added a snowflake in the middle of these beads. And now I need to put a period at the end of the sentence right there at the end of the garland where it meets the wall on each side. And there's the period at each end. And I'm going to wait until dusk so I can show you without the glare of the window. Okay, so here is the final product of my garland. Well, as of right now, anyway. And uh, you can see it's glistening and sparkly. And um, it's, I think it looks really dramatic looking. And um, I, I'm liking it a lot. Like I told you before, I haven't done gold before in the foyer. And I think it's uh, a nice change seeing these things in this area. Uh, so I put the light back on so you can see, have a little bit clearer uh, look at what's going on here. So you can see I did the corners, the end piece, and that whole middle piece. I used the beads, the snowflakes, and so on. And I think it sets off the gingerbread villages and the gingerbread tree very nicely. The cocos with the, the gold uh, looks really nice. Um, so here's just taking another view. And like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and look for me and a new one coming up really soon okay everybody subscribe take care bye bye